we're here at the Majestic Hotel and we've just come out of a film that I think touched all of us. It was the Australian film The New Boy by Warwick Thornton, uh, produced and starring Kate Blanchett, uh, Wayne Blair, Deborah Melman. So the story is about a young Aboriginal boy that arrives at a monastery in the middle of the night. You're not quite sure what happened and the monastery is run by a renegade nun played by Kate Blanchett. So I'm with Elise McLeod and we were gonna ask you what you thought of the film. Uh, I know that you're there with the screening and the screening which had a 10 minute standing ovation. Uh, tell us a little bit your thoughts of the film. I found the film really very beautiful. It had a lot of symbolism in it. Uh, visually it was incredible, like it looks great. Uh, also, it was very intelligent and subtle in the way it told the story. There was a, not a lot of dialogue, it was a lot of action and images. I did have a question in my head when I came out of it. Is this a film that the audience outside of Australia is really going to understand? Because I listened to some French people who were around me talking and they are like, mm, that was interesting, that was really, I really liked it, but had no idea what it was about. So yeah, I asked the woman, the woman next to me, and then, and she wasn't quite sure uh, about what was going on because she didn't understand. Uh, but Louise, you were saying uh, anyone who understands anything about colonisation could connect to this film. So maybe, can you explain a bit what the film is about? Yeah, so I found, for me, it was, it was incredibly moving and very timely, I think. At the moment, there's so much going on in Australia. So for people who are living in Australia, it is such a topical uh, discussion that, that's, that's being had. Because there's a referendum this year in October, because there's a whole discussion about recognition of our Indigenous and First Nations people, uh, about their history and about their culture and also giving them a say about what it is that happens with matters that actually affect them. So this film showing how this young boy, the control of what was happening to him was completely taken away is a really uh, a kind of a poignant movie to be made right at this time for people in Australia because it is such a, a current topic for us. I think even for Americans, you know, anyone living in a... In a in a country that's been colonised will be able to resonate with this. I think for people who, potentially the Europeans who haven't lived in that kind of fashion, maybe that they might struggle a little bit more to, to see the point. But I think for us, it, it really hit home the magic that this little boy had, the connections that he had with his own people and with his culture and with his own identity, as you put it, Elise. And then just it didn't take long he wasn't there for very long but already it started to diminish and it really made me feel quite sad to the point where at one point I, I was you know I was crying I had tears I was absolutely you know crying so I just thought it, you know it is it is time for us to talk about it a lot more and I love that Warwick has given this gift that's going to encourage people to talk about it a lot more because it, it's absolutely necessary that we do if we're ever going to make a change that's better for, for people. I don't think people won't understand it, but I don't think they'll understand it in terms of necessarily the history of uh, Australia and, and what's going on in Australia. What I think you get, it's very simple that someone gets taken out of their culture, put into another culture and gets their identity stolen. And that I think is pretty clear for anyone. Yeah, and one of the scenes that was the most poignant for me is uh, when the little boy takes down Christ off the cross, which uh, the nun, Kate Blanche's character, is obviously horrified about. But he takes him off to give him some food, to put some clothes on him. To show him some love. And, but what Warwick has done as a director uh, so well with, uh, with his actors is there's not a lot of dialogue and we understand so much through the character and we we empathize with all the characters you know the the nun is not the bad there is no baddie that we just see people in a situation that they've been put in all they want to do is you know connect to something higher whether it's god whether it's spirituality and because it's a cross culture it doesn't doesn't work can I just say one more thing growing up catholic and there are a lot of catholic overtones in this movie i, th I think that um Every character in the movie is a victim in some way. You know, they're all victims f 
for, for different reasons and of different things. <laughs> Even of nature. And I found that that, um, you know, that it, it really makes you, you look at what do we believe and why do we believe it and are we just blindly following things it was I found that kind of that dynamic fascinating okay I've got to say the fire scene did take me a little bit out of it because there's just no way you can control a fire in Australia with a few <laughs> bush fires absolutely not a, not gonna you're not gonna win that one no I'm with you. but it was beautiful I loved how they used the the symbol that just that little image of uh connecting to your spirit or your soul or the earth or your belonging um, through the fingers of the boy was just ma magic. Yeah, and even though we said that it was, there, there's, there's, you know, we cried and there was things that are depressing, the characters themselves, they were nice people and they were nice to each other and they were, you, you really saw that they were trying to be good people and they were good people. So it, there was something that was charming about all of them. I just want to talk about the, the title because it's called The New Boy and I thought it was really intelligent, the idea of the new boy and he doesn't get named and when he gets named, then he loses his, uh, his, his cultural identity, his origins of being an uh, Indigenous Aboriginal person. And th that was just a really strong, simple idea in the film, just that idea of the new boy and we're not going to name him and why won't we name him and what happens when you don't name something and someone... I wouldn't want to pass up this opportunity to have Elise here as a director and acting coach to talk a little bit about the acting of this film. I mean, we've got Kate Blanchett, we've got Wayne Blair, we've got Deborah Mailman as one read. Uh, their performances were outstanding. Can you talk about uh, their performances and a uh, point of view of as acting coach and director? Uh, I just, I really liked the subtlety and humour and elegance of Kate Blanchett's uh, character because what she presented was someone who as you said earlier wasn't the, wasn't necessarily the baddie she's in that situation and she's got her own problems and I, I just like the fact that it had humor in the acting as well it wasn't yeah. just like okay this is really dramatic and really hard and and then the little boy oh my god we just fall in love with him he's just incredible and Wayne and Deborah, they were great. And I was beautiful. It was a beautiful choral cast. And I guess like the way that you know we're so impacted by action movies and images that go 100 miles an hour, and this was something completely different. It was you know, slow. It didn't have a lot of dialogue. The images were beautiful. It really changed. It was a change from the type of films and the type of television and the type of Instagram things that we're consuming. And, that, and that's also really evident in the acting of everyone because in the, there was so much internal dialogue going on that you could see as a spectator and understand what they were feeling without them saying anything, which was now, great. I wanted to ask you, I wanted to ask you, Elise, with that pace of the movie at some parts, I found the pace to be fairly steady at some sections of the movie. And then I thought about it later and that part where it was really steady was when we weren't looking at the Western interference, we weren't looking at the drama and the things going wrong and we were actually learning about the new boys' uh, connections and it felt slow but deliberately so and I wondered if that was done that way to help us see that that beauty that is that slow living and that not necessarily that all Indigenous living is slow living, I'm not meaning that, but it's the, the contrast to the Western living and the drama. Do you think that was done deliberately for that reason? I think everything was done deliberately. I, I think Warwick knows exactly what he's doing and he's really thought about that. It's like, it's just sort of, even the music, the music was absolutely beautiful. Which Nick, Nick, Nick Cave did a great job. Warren, Warren Ellis, Warren's violin was fantastic. Um, but about no, all the, all those things you can tell also by how he received the the applause and how touched he was that he's put a lot of time and energy and thought into every single decision he makes as a director. Mm -hmm. so. And it was just so beautiful. We were here in two thousand and nine when Warwick had Samson and Delilah uh, in a certain regard and won the Camera Door, and he's back in two thousand twenty three with another film. It's really nice to see. It was 2009. <laughs> and, and, and Wayne had the Sapphires as a director and he's back as an actor, so it was really nice to see that 
group of people that work together, that team, and that's what Warwick said uh, when he came on stage. I've been away from town for quite some time, and um, Sydney can be a very, very lonely, dark space um, until you cast a film. And then a family is created, and a family can surround you and keep you warm and nurture you. Thank you. That's what I'm excited. Any last words on the film and why you think people might like to go and see it and why it's an important film? Uh, I really hope it gets an international audience because I think it's important to talk about history and for people to understand what's happened in the past to uh, heal the future. And so that's probably why I think people should see it the most, to understand our past so we can heal the future and be more, uh, more compassionate towards others. And Lou? Merci for actually sitting and having this time with us today. It's a little bit crazy. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but there are a number of red carpets happening all around us. So it's a little bit crazy. And just before you guys came up here, Leonardo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese walked past me. Yeah, <laughs> we just missed them. <laughs> I was putting my makeup on for this interview. Very. But we are back to more movies tonight and we'll be telling you all about those tomorrow.